Welcome back to AI Content Creation. Today we're going to be doing some keyword uh, clustering and also assigning categories to our keywords that we cluster. So this is a really cool workflow. Uh, I'm actually in the process of uh, creating this workflow, so I figured I would just record it and we would figure this out together. So uh, here we are, um, and you can see this uh, robust um, prompt that I've created right here. Uh, use a spreadsheet with columns to cluster the following keywords. The first column should be the main keyword and the second column should have several keywords that are closely related to the main keywords separated by a comma. So look at how specific I'm being uh, again with prompt engineering. You want to be as specific. You want to tell it every single detail that you want it to do. The, you, you can't be intricate enough with the detail, the level of detail with prompt engineering. Don't just say cluster these keywords, boom, it'll do a decent job with that. But um, if you want it to do exactly what you want it to do, then you have to explain it. Um, so if there are no, because I ran this and it was repeating the same keyword several times. So then I had to add, if there are no related keywords um, for a main keyword, then that is fine. Just move to the next keyword. That's why you see some of these that have blank right here, blanks in the second column. And then uh, we come over here um, and say, move on to the next. And if a, key, a keyword is assigned to a main keyword, then it cannot be used again. Uh, here are the keywords to cluster. And then we have all this, right? So let's just pretend we're gonna build a camping site, but first we need some cam uh, some camping keywords. Uh, you could use ChatGPT to find those, but you're not gonna be really using data even over the last couple of years. Um, so it, cause, because it, it's only using up um, from a couple of years ago, right? So I'm gonna go over here into a new chat, but before we do that, we need uh, some keyword research done, right? So I'm using this uh, new tool that's only been out for a couple months and I have a private access to be able to offer it to you. You've never seen this keyword research tool before, um, but I am a special affiliate with the owner of the tool, Insta Keywords, um, and this is a, an amazing, uh, simple keyword tool that this is very accurate. The competition is very, very accurate with this tool and the search volume comes directly from Google. So you can go and check these keywords um, and go into Google search uh, keyword planner and you'll find that it matches exactly that. So you're going, these search volumes are going to be the most accurate that you're going to get in a keyword research tool. Um, you have the cost per click and so forth. So there's all kinds of cool things you can do. You can also look at trends um, as well, click on the trends and so forth. So really cool keyword research tool. Um, it's pulling this data directly from uh, like auto suggest. And so that's why, so we know that people are searching for these keywords. Um, I also have case studies um, on some of my sites and uh, so forth of ranking with these no traffic keywords. Um, if it's pulling that up, that means people are searching for that. It, and when you have the no traffic keywords, that means that there is very little or no competition. So those are great keywords to go for, even if it has zero volume. So this is the keyword, my new favorite keyword research tool that I use. If you want to pick that up, there will be a link below. Um, and you can see right here, it's Insta Keywords. And this is normally a $468 per year tool right here. Um, but you can get this for $67 through my link below. And this is the only way that you can actually pick this tool up. So you'll be able to scroll down and look at all the case studies. This tool is insane. But we'll come through here and you can even see right here. My name is David Mills. I run multiple YouTube channels. This is my brand new channels uh, focusing only on AI, um, AI content. But you can see right here, here's my name. This is only available through my link and through my affiliation. Normally, again, this is a $468 per year tool and I'm offering it to you uh, for $67 right here. So that is a special deal for you. Okay, so the link will be below. But before we do that, let's go and... Um, I already pulled all this information um, over here uh, for camping. So I typed in summer camping and you can search by Google, YouTube questions, and you can save keywords. Really, really cool, simplified tool. You can also filter over here. You can add these filters at the top and so forth. So I really like simplified uh, keyword tools that just work and get the job done um, and that have accurate information, right? And I found that these great, um, you know, no traffic, um, these, it finds really good keywords to go for. Um, and then uh, when you want to, you can also come in here and let's just say summer camping outfits is maybe like a cluster or silo that you want to build. You can actually push the plus button there and it's going to go and actually find more related keywords, um, summer camp counselor outfits right here. So it's going to find even more and you could even dive in further summer camp counselor 
and see if there's any even, even more keywords inside of here. So if you're looking for long tail keywords, this is the absolute best tool that I have seen for long tail keyword research. I'm going to go back and here is, we have about 200 uh, keywords with camping. And then when you want to research more keywords, you just push the load more button. It's going to load more keywords and you just keep pushing the load. And I usually uh, will, if I'm going to start a new website, will come through and I'll actually just type in like my main keyword. Let's say we're going to build a summer camping website, something like that, right? We want all the words to focus around summer camping. I'm just going to exhaust this and I'll just keep going and going and going. Um, that's the difference is that uh, with this tool is that you do have to push the button in order to get all the, um, you know, it's not like Ahrefs where it's going to give you a billion keywords to sort through. Um, and this is very specific. So I usually go through that and exhaust it. You'll see that we're on M right now. So you'd have to keep doing this for another couple of minutes. And then you would have your giant list. I've already downloaded that list right here. And you'll be able to see um, that I have already downloaded that because you can come back up to the top uh, anytime and you can select all the keywords and then you can just push export and it'll export it into an Excel file, which that's what you're looking at right here. And we have about 226 keywords right here. Super cool stuff. Now what we're going to do is um, this is called export. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, exit. Don't save. I'm going to go into another tool called writers and um, and you can use other tools. There's key, there's uh, I think it's keyword Cupid. There's writers and there's free tools that will cluster. The free ones won't work as well as this. Um, you can use chat GBT to cluster, but I do think that these tools have been specifically designed to cluster the keywords in a, a better fashion. So I would rather use this, but if you don't have this, you can easily come in here and build a prompt like I just did a second ago and you can keyword, you can cluster your keywords, uh, together um, using chat GPT, but, um, right now I'm going to go ahead and just cluster these. Let's just say that you have your keywords clustered and it doesn't matter which technique you're going to use. Right? So I'm just going to come up here, keyword list, and I'm going to go or keyword importer. So I'm going to import this and it's going to be summer camping. And I'm just going to, um, actually I don't need to import. I can literally just mm -hmm. go and open up that. Let me open up that export again. Um, shift end down and copy all these keywords and then come back over here um, into, and I'm just going to paste these. You can paste up to 12,000 keywords, super cool. And we're just going to go ahead and push add and it's going to go and uh, it's going to cluster our 200 keywords for us. And we'll be right back in a sec. All right. So when it's only clustering 200 keywords, it literally um, only takes like 10 seconds. But um, a lot of times I've clustered 12,000 keywords at a time and it might take up to about 30 minutes or an hour to do that. Um, I went with cluster level five. I'm not going to get into too, too much into what all that means. It starts at level three, but I want it to be even more specific, more in common on the page. So we went with cluster level five. So I'm just going to say X. So the, here's all the clustered keywords, right? You've seen this in other tools and so forth. I'm going to say exports and we're going to export all. And I'm just going to go like this and just say summer camping um, cluster, right? Summer camping cluster and make it into an Excel file. And then what we'll do is we've got our Excel file. We'll go ahead and pop that open real quick. Enable editing. And then you get these stats right over here. We'll zoom in for you. Uh, so there was 225 keywords, cluster level five. So clustered groups, 29 and not in any clustered keyword groups right here. Okay. So that means that, uh, we could go in back because it didn't cluster very many keywords. Then we would go back and just cluster level three. Um, and that's probably what I'm going to do because we just did not get enough clusters. Um, but I guess that's okay too, because we only have 200 keywords. So I wouldn't mind building um, that many uh, pages anyways. So basically what this looks like is here's the clustered keywords, right? It, it will take a keyword like this right here, for example, summer camping meals, and then all these keywords right here, summer camping meals, recipes, dinner ideas, and so forth. So all those right there, it's telling us that we can either create that into a, its own um, silo um, or we could uh, create this into one giant uh, like kind of uh, blog post, right? So what I would do is long story short, um, once you cluster all your keywords, right? And then we have our non clustered keywords. So all these need to go into a, a category as well. So what I would do is basically detail of um, is first when you have your keywords clustered, we're going to take all these keywords that are clustered, right? So the 29 keywords, um, and we're going to copy that. 
and we're going to come back over to chat GBT and we're going to say, um, give me five major website categories for a site specifically about summer camping. So it's going to give us major categories. So the camping gear and supplies, that's great. Tips and tricks, great. Recipes and milling, that sounds great as well. And recipes, mill planning. Um, that looks similar to, so we have camping activities. Oh yeah, this is perfect. So we probably won't get into too much of this. This is going to be specific stuff, but that does make a whole lot of sense. Um, so then now I'm going to say, um, awesome. Now just um, give me the category without the description and this I tend this tends to happen a lot is that because I just want a list right I just want these and so we've got our major categories now we want to assign these categories of our site so now we're basically building the site structure for our website so then all you have to do now is we can just grab these right here um, we can go and get our keywords we can copy that we can come back here and say now um, take the following keywords and assign the most relevant um, category to each keyword and use a spreadsheet with the keyword in one column and the assigned website category in the other column. Here are the key words. So I'm literally prompt engineering right in front of you, right off the cuff, don't have this prepared. And we're going to take those keywords and paste them in right here. I'm going to push enter and we're going to see what we get. Here's a spreadsheet with the keywords and their corresponding website category. So we have outdoor activities, campground directory, are those the um, campground directory, camping gear and supplies, do we have that camping gear and supplies? So look at this. So this is how you're going to grab main keywords, right? That you, main keywords to write your content on your website. And because that is the biggest struggle that I have with writing content for websites is the structure of the website. Like, should I create a blog post about this keyword or does it belong into another, um, into a giant blog post with a bunch of other keywords, right? That is the, one of the biggest things uh, that people try or uh, struggle with, with website building. And right now we have this all laid out perfectly for us, right? So you can actually take this um, beautiful uh, spreadsheet right here and we can go back over here and what I would do is uh, somehow uh, we would just uh, put this in over here somewhere. I'm just going to kind of paste it in over here. So we're going to have that pasted in right there, right? And we know that this is the actual cluster, right? And we know it's not going to follow exactly where they're, where we're at with this right here. But we know that summer camping in Texas, we're just going to go right over here to summer camping in Texas. And we know that we're going to put that in campground directory. So we've assigned all these categories. You could actually go and we could do a VLOOKUP and get fancy right here. But the problem with this is, is that the way that this gets uh, clustered for us is that, you know, we have this giant box right here. And it's, um, it's saying that there's two columns being taken up right there. But this gives us a key right here. So this will help. We'll know exactly what to put those in. So then now all we have to do is just go into the non-cluster keywords. So we know that we're going to create a new blog post for all of these keywords right here. So you're going to just take this. Uh, this one doesn't look good. So control minus. Um, this one's kind of weird. Uh, control minus there. And right here, control minus as well. Um, camping in Zermatt summer. don't know what that is. I'm just going to delete that one as well. Control minus as well. So we've got all these keywords that we're going to create that many blog posts on because they didn't cluster. So then you're going to take that and we're going to come back over here and we're going to um, just say repeat, repeat that exact process for the following keywords and keep the keywords and list in the exact order 
of these keywords. And then just a colon, control V and enter. And then now it's going to do the exact same thing. And we're going to look and see, does it go with YMCA, summer camping jobs, YMCA, summer camping jobs. So it is staying in order. So it's going to be done with that. And then you're going to see that we're going to be able to paste this in and, and it's going to keep. So then basically this we're assigning, we're letting uh, ChatGPT and AI assign the appropriate category for us, for all of our keywords. So we've clustered our keywords and we've now set up our silo structure for our website and our categories using AI. So then now all we have to do is focus on writing the content and putting them in the right categories. How awesome is this, right? So we're going to come through here. It's almost done. And it, look how accurate it is. Summer camping appetizers goes in recipes and meal planning. Perfect. Summer camping, Australia campground directory. Amazing. All right. So now all we have to do is just copy this copy and go back into the spreadsheet. And now all we have to do is just come right over here and we can right click and just paste and double click right there. So now you have, you can, and I like this because now you can see summer camping crafts right there and we'll scroll down and just see how, um, like right over here, um, breaks right there breaks. And we still had more to go right there, but that just gives you the, the demo. So this, uh, this assigns the category. So now we come over here and we're like, okay, summer camping hacks. I need to write an article on that. Right? So we go and write that and we know that that's going to go in camping tips and tricks. Um, so we've clustered our keywords. We uh, know that the silo is going to be right. We have these ones that make the most sense to cluster are over here with strong confidence. And all these right here are fair game to create um, our own unique uh, article on each one. And then we know exactly what category to put it in. So it's going to be very um, well organized website. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, how to use uh, ChatGBT to um, cluster your keywords and to create the silo structure and categories of your website and assign every single article that you're going to write an, a unique um, category on your website. This was a long, the longest video on the, um, on this channel so far, but this is how you can use chat GPT to your advantage to build, um, the structure of your website and to cluster your keywords. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you made it this far, leave a comment below and say, Hey, I watched the whole thing. Thanks. That would be awesome. Uh, I can see how many of you are actually watching the entire video. I really appreciate you and hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to AI content generation, and I will see you soon.